Hi, my name is Mohamed Foyd Alom. I am a Senior Product Manager at East London NHS Foundation Trust, working in the Analytics and Improvement Department. I support the organisation in the application of statistical process control and I'm going to be demonstrating how we use the EGSPC software to create and interact with our SPC charts on Microsoft Power BI. So in this demonstration we are going to be looking at number of physical violent incident data and it's worth noting this is all dummy data. So what are we looking at? We have two years worth of data spanning from 2014 to 2016, so it's bi-weekly data. We are currently looking at a trust-wide view, but this trust-wide view is made up of three different worlds. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to fix our baseline. Baseline refers to any data we've collected before our improvement project began. So in this example, our improvement project began on the 5th of January 2015. And notice how none of the special cause rules has been picked up here. Once we fix the baseline, then the software will be able to pick up the special cause rules. So our baseline ends on the 22nd of December. So all you do is click on the data point and a little toolbox appears. Now notice we've got two options here, mark baseline and mark default baseline. Mark baseline will fix the baseline for this chart alone, but because we've got a hierarchy, where you've got the three walls underneath. If we use mark default baseline, it would fix the baseline for this chart and the three charts underneath, saving you from having to go into each of the charts individually and fixing the baseline. So let's click on this. Now notice how the chart is automatically highlighted in red and a red border and a red shade. This is because the chart is picking up special cores in the latest data point. Now this is really useful when you have multiple charts on one page because it can quickly direct your attention to where you need to focus in terms of which charts are showing some sort of signal. One really important thing when it comes to SPC chart is annotating what has happened. So if we click on this data point here, you'll see there's an option for annotation. So I could simply write QI project begins. Press save and there you go, annotation has appeared here. Now, if you hover over this red point, you can see here it's saying a rule for three sigma violations. But in turn, this actually was due to poor reporting that the data point is showing a three sigma violation. So it's not actually because of any of the change ideas that were tested. So what we can do here is if you click on the data point, you've got this option here to say ghost. Now what ghost does, it keeps the data point in there, but it removes it from the calculations of the SPC chart. So we can click on this point ghost and notice how it's become a lighter shade, but it's no longer included in the calculations of the center line and the limit. And we can go back to here and add an annotation, poor data capture. Let's see. And there you go. So we've actually described what happened here and why we ghosted this data point. Now, if you look here, we're seeing quite a lot of red dots. And if you hover over here, you can see here we're seeing two rules. Rule one, which is a shift, eight or more consecutive points below the center line, and rule three, two out of three. So what we would do in this case is we would recalculate the limits. And if you click on this data point, you'll see options to recalculate. So we've got start shift, and this allows you to specify when you want to start the shift, when you want to end the shift. But we're going to use this option here, shift eight points. So if we click on here, notice how quickly it's recalculated the limit. It's worked at a new center line, which is 51, and which is more representative of the data here compared to this value here of 68. Notice how this arrow which is our desired direction of travel has changed so down is good in this example and because the new center line is less than the baseline center line it's highlighted in green so if this center line or this average value was higher then it would turn red one thing we need to make sure we do is annotate so at this point the teams tested safety cross which led to the change so we can annotate and make sure we're capturing the story our improvement journey throughout the chart now we've annotated and we calculate our trustwide chart we can go down to the ward level charts now notice earlier i said we use the mark default baseline view so we don't have to do individually and notice how if i hover over any of the data points it's automatically highlighted as baseline and this one is just test data and it's also telling us that it's seen a shift here it's highlighting the chart again in a red border so what we can do here is click on the first point of the shift and simply do shift eight points and notice again the red border is still here because it's picking up another shift which starts on notice if you hover over here the center line value is 26 and the actual incidents taking place is 26 so you'd go to the next point of, which is 24 so simply click on the data point 
shift date point and there you go we calculate our limits and now we've got three different phases here it's literally that simple the great thing about this tool is it remembers the steps you've taken on the chart so now if i go back to the trust y chart notice how my recalculated limits are still there and when i go down to board my recalculated limits are still there now this is very important when you have multiple spc charts and you've got a hierarchy because you you can go down to the granular level and recalculate the limits add the story annotation of what's happening and the easy spc software would remember it so it captures all of that information if i go to board gate ward again it's picked up a shift eight or more points below the center line highlighted in red so all you do is click on the red data point the first one and do shift eight points and there you go and notice as it's still highlighting points in red because it's picking up another rule which is rule five hugging the center line 15 or more points if i go to the final ward now limehouse ward we can see it's picking up a shift downwards here eight or more points highlighted in red so you can see it quickly draws your attention to where you need to click the data point again shift eight points and now it's picked up a special cause here which is a shift upwards now if we do the same steps click on the first data point shift eight points we can see it's actually got worse off notice how the desired direction of travel is gone upwards which signals that this ward limehouse ward has actually got worse off the average or the center line value was 16 and now it's 21 so if we go back to our trust wide chart now if you want to print screen this if you want to put it into a report all you have to do is click on this focus mode view and now you've got an expanded view of your chart which you can simply screenshot and then put into any report you'd like if i just go back to the report now finally if you hover over this button here which is the quick chart settings tool it gives you a, a bunch of formatting options which you can quickly apply to your spc charts so it's really flexible allows you to create SPC charts quickly and the most importantly you can recalculate limits with a few clicks which is very important especially when you have multiple SPC charts if you would like to change the format of the SPC chart so color schemes or if you would like to turn certain rules off you'll notice that under chart settings so if I click on the chart go to format your visual you've got a whole host of settings here allows you flexibility in whatever you want if you would like to change the rule colors so from red to any color of your preference if you would like to turn any of them off if you want to control your baseline colors so you see our standard is blue but you might want to change it to something that's more appropriate and finally chart settings 